y'all and welcome back to Social with Shauna where I share with you guys everything I have learned about growing and making money on social media. Today we are going to be talking about the top six tools that I use to make my YouTube videos that I feel like I cannot live without when it comes to the YouTube world. So if you are a YouTuber and interested in what tools you need to make the best videos possible, stay tuned. These are gonna be the six tools that I use to create basically every single video that I make, both here on Social with Shauna and over on my main channel, Shauna Ray. So I use these on both channels quite a lot. Now, the first tool is going to be TubeBuddy. And if you are not already using TubeBuddy and you are a YouTuber, you definitely need to check it out. TubeBuddy is an essential tool in my YouTube making, my YouTube video making process. TubeBuddy is a, tool that you can use to help you with search words. It can help you with tags. It helps you just when you're thinking of topics, it'll help you by telling you what topics are good for your channel. Um, it is essential. I use it mostly for the tag feature. It helps me with suggested tags quite a lot when I'm tagging my videos. Um, and it also helps you, you can see what tags of yours are ranking once a video is already posted, which is really helpful. Um, it just has a lot of really good features that are extremely helpful and I feel like I could not live without when it comes to creating my YouTube videos. For all of these tools that I'm mentioning, there will be links in the description box down below, so make sure you check them out. For TubeBuddy, they do have a free version, but I choose to upgrade and pay for the basic version. Um, it is, if you are, have under a thousand subscribers, you can use the code RISINGSTAR and get half off. So I pay $4.50 a month for my TubeBuddy membership. Um, and so far on my other channel, Shauna Wright, that has lasted even once I surpassed a thousand subscribers. I don't know if that'll change and at some point I'll start getting charged the full $9, but right now I currently only pay $4.50 for my basic TubeBuddy membership, which is pretty sweet. So again, use the code RISINGSTAR when you're signing up for TubeBuddy to get it half off if you're under a thousand subscribers. And I definitely think it is a very essential tool when it comes to trying to rank in SEO searching, and searching um, and search engine optimization, which is SEO in case you didn't know, um, when it comes to ranking on YouTube, when it comes to figuring out what tags to use, what keywords to use and everything like that. Next up that I use mostly over on my other channel, I don't use it a whole lot here, but it's Epidemic Sound, which is my, t which is my music subscription that I use for YouTube. Most YouTubers use Epidemic Sound. Um, it is a great tool for you to use. Basically, it has an entire extremely large library of songs that you can use. As long as you're paying for the membership, you basically get the license to use those songs. So I do the, I it's $15 a month, and you can use any of the music as many times as you want on your YouTube channel, on your Instagram, on your Facebook. You can link them all up to your account and use them on all of those platforms. Now, the... Good thing about Epidemic Sound is it means you are safe and you will not get copyrighted for using those songs on your YouTube channel as long as you have the membership. My problem with using non-copyrighted music, um, I did do that in the beginning of my YouTube career. The problem with that is any non-copyrighted songs that you come across and you decide to use, you are you have no guarantee that the owners will eventually, eventually copyright those songs and then you get in trouble. I've had that happen. I've used songs, I've had the videos up and then for months they've been fine and then all of a sudden I get a copyright um, notification and it's because the owners then decided later on down the road to copyright their songs. So. Using non-copyrighted music that you find on YouTube or other sites is never a guarantee. That's why I choose to use Epidemic Sound because it is guaranteed that you are able to use those songs and you will not get in trouble for it. So I think it's really worth it. Now, a good thing about Epidemic Sound is if you also have a paid TubeBuddy membership, you can get a 25% discount on Epidemic Sound. So I actually only pay, I think it's 11, 25, 11, 50, something like that on Epidemic Sound now because I have my TubeBuddy membership and I have those connected so that I only, so I get the discount on my Epidemic Sound. If you guys are interested in a video about how to do that, make sure you leave me a comment down in the comments below and I will do a whole video dedicated to how to make sure you're getting that discount. Interrupting here real quick to let you know if you are liking this video and finding it useful, make sure you give it a big thumbs out. It is a quick and easy way that you can help me out. Also, if you have a friend who is also a YouTube creator who you think could benefit from this information, make sure you hit that share button and share it with them. And don't forget to subscribe because I do post new tips and tricks videos every Monday at 8 a.m. Back to the content. 
So next up, and this probably should have been the first one, is the YouTube Studio app on my phone. So if you upload videos on YouTube, then you are probably aware of YouTube Studio on the computer, which is where you go to do anything that you need to do to edit. But you also have a YouTube Studio app that you can download on your phone. You can do minor changes, like you can change your description, your title, your tags of your videos. You can turn uh, monetization on if you're monetized. You can um, change your thumbnail, upload your thumbnail from there, and then you can also look at your analytics. So that is why I use it the most, is I use it to look at my analytics. I look to see how videos are doing throughout the day so that I'm not always having to be on a computer. You can also respond to comments in there, which is also very handy because I try to respond to comments at least the first day as soon as they pop up. Um, and it's just a really great tool. If you don't have YouTube Studio downloaded and you are a YouTuber, of course, you definitely need to download YouTube Studio. It is essential. It is free. There is no charge for YouTube Studio, so definitely download that so that you can get all the benefits for that. Next up is an app I have on my phone for editing. I, if you did not know, I do all my filming, editing, and uploading from my phone directly, my iPhone 8. So for editing, I use iMovie since I do have an iPhone. iMovie is also completely free, which is really great. Um, and it allows me to do all of my editing straight from my phone. And then it also allows me to directly upload from iMovie onto YouTube, which is awesome. Um, I am planning on doing an entire video on how I edit my videos in the future. So if you're interested in more like about the features that I movie I will be doing that in the future but iMovie if you have an iPhone is a great resource if you need to edit your phone your videos on the go or on your phone for any reason in case you don't have a computer or like the software that you're able to download on like Windows which is my case I do have a Windows laptop but I don't like any of the free softwares for Windows so I like iMovie a lot better so I use iMovie on my phone and that works great eventually I want to get a MacBook and then I will download iMovie on there but for now my phone's working just fine my last two apps or my last two tools that I think are essential to my YouTube video making process are both for my thumbnails. Now my favorite and the one I've been using the longest is Canva. It is completely free. They have an app as well as you can use it online. There are a few more features if you're using it on a computer, but you can use it on your phone as well and it's super simple. You can upload photos directly into Canva. So you can upload your thumbnail photo into Canva. You can make adjustments to the picture. So you can adjust things like the brightness and the saturation and all those types of things. You can add text, you can add like emojis and icons and just symbols and things like that. You can add borders. You can do all sorts of things. You can change colors around. You can do a lot. They also have a lot of templates on there. So if you're not sure how, where to go with your thumbnail, what to do about it, where to take the image or whatever, they have different kinds of um, templates which are really handy. I mentioned this in my media kit that they have a bunch of media kit templates. They also have YouTube thumbnail templates. They have resume templates. They have Facebook cover templates. They have tons of different kinds of templates on there. So make sure you check Canva out. It's a really, really handy tool. I personally use the free version. They do have a pro version which has even more features that I may look at upgrading to in the future when I'm making a little bit more income from my, this for my YouTube channel, but for now, Canva's working great. And not only do I use this for my YouTube videos, I also use it on my Instagram post. If I ever have an Instagram post that I want to put some writing on or anything, um, I use Canva for that as well because they have an Instagram template that you can use too. And then when Canva isn't doing quite everything I wanted to do, I do also use PicMonkey. Now you can download PicMonkey for free, but usually if you want to download the image from PicMonkey, you do need to have a subscription. And honestly, I'm not even sure how much this subscription is for because I've never paid for it. What I do with PicMonkey is not only do they have an app on your phone, you also have the online version. And sometimes when I just can't get my writing and stuff to look right in Canva, because unfortunately Canva does not have like a outline font. So you can't do like a font where it has like an outline of a different color which does bother me sometimes, I, but PicMonkey does. So what I'll do is I'll take my image, I'll edit it, put it, if I want it to be like four different pictures in one thumbnail, I'll do all that in Canva, get everything perfectly ready about with the image in Canva. And then I'll take that and I'll upload it into PicMonkey. And then I'll do the fonts in PicMonkey since I can do the outline on PicMonkey. Now, how I get around to not having to download the image and pay for a subscription with PicMonkey is I will just screenshot it once it's done and then I crop it to be just the thumbnail image. Now, of course, they want you to pay for the subscription and they probably don't like this. And eventually they may even find a way around this, like making their watermark or something until you download it. 
But for now, that is working for me. I will do everything. I will edit it all in PicMonkey and then I'll just screenshot it and crop it to where it's just the thumbnail picture and upload it and it works great. That's what I've been doing for a while now. So if I can't get things just right in Canva, I will use PicMonkey occasionally as well. So now just a quick rundown of my top favorite apps. Again, YouTube Studio is a must. It is free, so you should go ahead and download that if you are making YouTube videos on Android, on iPhone, on any of your uh, uh, phone services, you can download that and you should use it. Next up is TubeBuddy. I pay $4.50 a month for it. You can use code RISINGSTAR to get a 50% discount on their membership. They also do have a free version, but I definitely think using the paid version is well worth it. They will help you with suggested tags, with keyword research, with SEO research. It's a huge, huge tool in my YouTube creating. Next up is Epidemic Sound. If you need music on your videos, especially if you're doing like cleaning videos, things like that where you're trying to add music, Epidemic Sound is a must for me. It is well worth the money. And don't forget, you can get a discount on Epidemic Sound if you have the paid TubeBuddy version. So for me, it's well worth it just for the peace of mind and the safety because you never know when those non-copyrighted songs can become copyrighted in the future. And then what do you do? I mean, yes, YouTube has your, the ability so you can remove the sound from your video and you can replace it with some of their free, free music. But for me, Epidemic Sound has a huge, huge variety of songs and it's just well, well worth the money. Next up is iMovie, which is how I edit all of my videos on my phone. If you don't have an iPhone, I am sure there are some versions on Android that you can use as well that are free. I do believe a lot of them have watermarks though, so you should watch out for that. What I love about iMovie is that it's free, it doesn't have watermarks, and it's quick and easy for editing my videos. And then next up are the two that I use for my thumbnails, which are Canva and PicMonkey. Both of them are great. The only reason I like PicMonkey is because you can do the outlined font in PicMonkey, but for everything else, I really like Canva. And again, PicMonkey is not free, so there is the downside of that. Canva is completely free unless you decide to pay for the pro version, which just has a few extra, extra, fonts and templates and things like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. I do have new tip and tricks videos every Monday morning at 8 a.m. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.